Hey everybody, welcome to Yin Yoga, the 30 minute version. So let's go ahead and get started right in the downward dog. And just take a few moments, walk that dog out, pedal out through those feet. And then lift that right leg up to the sky on the inhale. And then come into a pigeon pose. So swing your right shin all the way towards the top of your mat. If you have a block, you can always use the block underneath your right sit bone if you want or you can put that underneath the forehead. And then turn the outer left hip down towards the ground. And just start to come down to your own degree. So maybe you come down onto your forearms. Maybe you lay all the way down onto your belly. Just wherever it feels right. And then just get situated. And we're gonna be here each pose in the yin yoga 30 minute version. We're gonna hold about a minute and a half to two minutes. So always the first few moments, you know, you wanna just set yourself up. And then eventually you find your place and then you just start to get still. Most of you are probably familiar with this idea of yin, but yin is really the opposite of the way Western culture is today. This culture of doing, 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 and this culture of really just overactivity. And in yin, we balance out that, that yang-like energy by just getting still, coming inward, and as we do that, ultimately finding balance and creating this environment where we're able to replenish and to renew and to restore. And the cool thing is now we have within professional athletics, more and more of these athletes that are incorporating in yoga into their training regimes because we know that the body actually becomes stronger in a state of rest. See if you can just find that place and see if you can just let go of any need to do or to have an agenda. As you just let yourself melt into the pose. Good, from here, go ahead and ease your way all the way back up onto your hands. And then lean into your outer right hip. And then go ahead and swing your left leg all the way around towards the front of your mat. And then bring your right foot high to the inside of your inner left leg, left thigh. So the right knee opens out towards the right. Flex through your front left foot. And then on and inhale, reach up through the arms. And then on the exhale, just go ahead and fold over and down. Come into a forward bending motion. And within these yin yoga holds, opening up the connective tissues and stretching out your fascia, or what we sometimes call the meridian tissues. The tissues were all those subtle channels that transport prana, chi, intelligence through the body allowing those tissues to get nourished. And the only way that's gonna happen is through a long, slow, sustained hold.
go ahead and ease your way nice and slowly all the way back up and then to bring your right knee up to the sky bend the right foot back by the outside of your right hip and draw your inner knees towards each other and then just bring your hands onto the floor behind you and if that feels pretty intense just stay right there another thing is you can always grab a block and you can put that underneath your left sit bone as well if your knee feels pretty healthy you can lean back onto your forearms or some of you may want to come all the way down onto your back so you just recline all the way back to your own degree. And this will give you a nice stretch for your right knee. Sometimes it feels good if you're reclining back to bring your arms to what we call cactus arms. So bend the elbows and then just open up through your chest and through your heart. So just find that place. Just breathe. And if you're laying back, just start to slowly go all the way back up. Just taking your time. And then lean to the left and then extend the right leg forward all the way out in front of you. Just letting that blood rush down through that right knee. And then go ahead and lift the right foot up, set it on top of your left knee and then bend your left foot underneath your right knee so you set up for what we call double seated pigeon pose or you can come to easy cross-legged seated position so find what works for you and then once you get your lower body set both arms to the sky and I'll reach up and fold on the exhale to your own degree if you have a block nearby you can always place that right underneath the forehead and allow the weight of your head to just be supported by the ground and coming back into your hips and all the tissues that intersect through the largest joint in your body Just see how much you can continue to just go inward, go inside. Just continuing to release, relax, and restore. you guys and then just take your time slowly come all the way back up and then from here we're just gonna kind of 
Hoover our way around into tabletop pose. And as you come back to tabletop pose, slide the knees back behind the hips, and then hip circle. So after that deep stretch into the hips, just circle that body round. And you can go a few times one way and then reverse it a few times the opposite way. Just moving some blood, moving some energy through those areas that you're just stretching. Nice, and then we'll come back to down dog. So tuck the toes under, lift those hips back up to the sky, pedal out through those feet. And as you're ready, left leg floats up on the inhale. And in pigeon pose, so just swing your left shin all the way towards the front of your mat. Slide your right knee, right leg back. And then take your time to get set. Any props, bolsters, blankets you want to use, feel free. And then as you're ready, just start to melt down to your own degree. Just continuing to enjoy just the medicine that we get from yin. Nourishing that body from deep within. few breaths there. And just start to ease and exit your way all the way out of classical pigeon. And then just lean into that outer left hip. And then go ahead and swing the right leg all the way around towards the front. Left foot this time inside of your inner right leg. Right thigh, left knee opens out towards the left. And then both arms reach up above. And then go ahead and fold all the way over and down into what we call Janu. Sheer Sasana. And of course, the longer that you hold, the deeper you go. The deeper you go, the deeper you heal. The deeper you heal, the better you're going to feel. So in Yin Yoga, we definitely get to work with this energy of patience. You know, there's nowhere to get to. And you just gotta patiently just be with the things that arise and the things that come up. Just notice the sensations changing. Notice the thoughts changing. Maybe even noticing emotions changing. As you just continue to observe and watch with detachment. Just letting things come and go, ebb and flow. Just staying calm and centered, steady. Start to crawl your way all the way out of that one. And then just shift your left knee up to the ceiling and bend your back left foot. And then start to set up for that great knee stretch. As you're ready, just start to lean back onto your hands or perhaps the forearms or 
or maybe even all the way down to your back. But again, just be respectful and try not to force, try not to push anything. And just honor what it is that your body's speaking to you through that language of sensation, telling you when you need to go deeper, or when you need to pull back, or maybe when you need to stay exactly where you're at when you found your sweet spot. And from here, if you're leaning back, just take your time and slowly start to come all the way back up. And then just nice and easy, lean over to the right and extend that left leg towards straight. And then let's bring the left foot up on top of that right knee, bend the right foot underneath the left knee, setting up for double seated pigeon on the other side or modify an easy cross-legged seated position. Arms to the sky and I'll reach up and exhale, just start to fold down. Double seated pigeon. Find your place and just see if you can bliss out as much as you can. Just continuing to drop deeper and deeper into that yin yoga zone. And last couple breaths there. Good, that's it for that one. Go ahead and come all the way back up to seated. And then stretch your legs out in front of you for a moment. And then go ahead and rotate the body around to the side. Spread the legs out nice and wide into a seated straddle stretch. So flex your feet, and then just start to walk your hands out in front of you to your own degree. And again, if you have a block, you can always put that right underneath the forehead. And then just allow the tissues and the inner legs to get a nice deep, deep yin stretch.
past few breaths there. And then just take your time, start to come out of that one. And bring your hands to the outer legs. And then just close the legs back together. Turn back face and forward towards the front of your mat. And then flex the feet. And we'll set up now for a seated forward fold. So arms to the sky and reach up. So inspire that length. And then seated forward fold, just melt over and down. And just let yourself just relax into that forward bend as much as you can. Stretching your heels and your calves and the backs of the knees, the hamstrings, the glutes, the spinal muscles, all the way up to the top of your neck. start to come all the way out of that one and then just release all the way down onto your back so just recline all the way back and grab your shin squeeze your knees in and then go ahead and set your feet down onto the mat onto the floor lift the hips up and then grab your block if you don't have a block you can always use books and just lie that underneath the lower back, underneath the sacrum into what we call supported bridge. You could also take a normal bridge as well. So you have a few options there. And then as you get supported and get set up here, just see if you can take a, about a minute and a half or so. And just let yourself relax in this reclining backward bend. Just continuing to enjoy this time that you carved out of your busy day, your busy schedule to just slow things down. And as we say, no hurries, no worries. So just dropping in, settling in. come up onto the tips of the toes lift the hips all the way up and then slide your block off to the side and release the lower back down onto the mat and then go ahead and spread your feet out about the width of your mat so wide stance through your feet and then just let both knees just fall over to the right 
keeping the feet spread out. Good, and then same thing to the other side. Just let those knees just come all the way across over to the left. Should feel really good. back up to middle and then we'll come right into Shavasana. Just the final last pose, the ultimate yin pose. As you just get still, take a nice big inhale through the nose, fill your lungs all the way up to the brim and out the mouth, just sigh it out, release and let that exhale just carry you in last couple minutes and easily just come back to that gentle wave of the breath and the gentle pulse of the heart as you start moving the fingertips and moving the toes back around and then go ahead and stretch the arms up over your head and interlacing the fingers and then reach down grab the shin squeeze the knees into the belly Nice and easily just rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final cross-legged seated position. Bring the hands up to prayer. And then bring the hands up to the third eye area. And then bring the indexes down to the mouth. And then bring the hands back to prayer position in front of your heart, allowing your yoga to really shine through all that you think, all that you say, and all that you do. Much health, stay connected, and see you on the mat. Namaste.